Okay, so since I haven't been doing much on the cutlass outside, today I'm going to work on the radio center instrument panel here. And what I'm going to do is I'm repairing because 20 year old me put a old radio, you know, Jensen. This is the radio I took out of the car. And I'm putting a different, well, although the same kind of radio is going in the car, it's going to be a Pioneer this time, the one that came out of the Camaro that I bought. I have to repair that I've already re glued down in here and down here where this was broken half but right now I'm sanding this smooth here so that I can go ahead and just put a small piece of fiberglass between here and here to make it stronger then while I was doing that oh see and I, this is why I did it because I just went ahead and broke it again right there and while I was thinking about doing that I've already cleaned this up I didn't like the idea that how, you know, I, younger me, like probably 16, 17 year old Tony, didn't do all this proper. So what I'm thinking I'm probably going to do is take these cuts down here and probably square it off up to here and down to here and refill this in with like a, um, like an ABS type of plastic you know fill it fill it in so that it could be a blank uh starting point again for remounting you know the head unit this obviously is going to be different but what i'm going to do is the sides of the you know like here i'm going to mount differently because the back of the um the back of the car, well, back of the car, the back of the area here doesn't have anywhere to mount a stereo a radio of this kind because the radio mounts to this piece here. So I'm going to strengthen that piece up. And then once I get that done, we're going to eventually figure out how to mount this so that when the radio slides into the put when I put the mount this into the car the radio slides in there now that I'm looking at it I really was thinking about bolting this into the car you know with the um, the straps that have the holes in them here and here but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if I want to do that or not. Um, I'll figure and there's really no mounting back here. I could probably use this little screw right here. Um, but this radio is going to be temporary. I'm going to buy an updated, better radio. Um, although this one's probably not that bad. Um, but yeah, I am going to update this one. But, or buy a different bracket, a cage, or design a cage that will, this will slide into that's supported so that I can easily take this radio in and out if I have to down the line. So for now, let's get to... Uh, repairing my repair, you know, obviously that I just broke right there, again, and then uh, from there, we will uh, get moving on other projects, but this one right here will be taking some time, it'll probably be two or three parts to this one, but for now, this is what we're going to get done. And then once I get the plastic pieces, I'll fill that in, fill it in, and uh, get it get it glued in. That way we can make it nicer looking.
Okay, so I went ahead and got it trimmed up, cleaned up. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to sand it down or anything because it's not something that needs to be cleaned up looking pretty. Nobody's going to see it anyway. And I know that I use super glue. So, you know, you can add your comments in the bottom about how you don't like it but it works i've used it on model airplanes several times um it's gonna hold it just fine and that's it you know this one right here i'm still going to be careful down here because it's a small speed piece but i'm still going to clean this up here and fill this in and then go ahead and just you know Cut it out and refill it. I'll probably go ahead and do a lot of other fixing on this. Plus, I can also cut it up and clean it up. And I'll probably trim this up to here. And I don't know how I'm going to... I'd like to go ahead and get a replacement piece if I could find one of these. And that way, have it back on here and somehow you know not trim and cut it up like it is now like i said you know 16 17 year old me uh trimmed it up put the radio in there but you know obviously didn't do a good job so you know older me is having to fix it but uh we get it figured out and cleaning this up filling it in and then readjusting so that when the radio goes in there whatever faceplate that i put on there um for the new radio for example will fit in there properly and it won't leave any gaps like under here or up top so that i don't have to sit there and try to force and fight uh which piece you know which get which faceplate goes on there or even if the even if it gets to a point where i put the uh radio in let's see if i can do that uh, there we go Say, for example, if I'm able to get a radio in there that doesn't absolutely need a faceplate, you know, would be nice, but I don't see that happening. So, but to get this filled in down here and then somehow have a new one or somehow do this to have it come around here to look like it fills in that would be even nicer but this is one of those long term you know it's going to take me a while to get this finished up because I got to figure out what I am going to do about this face plate here when it comes to yep I heard that crack too when it comes to this here because it was trimmed way too short but like I said um, I don't know I don't think a sticker will do because heat you know heat will really mess everything up you know sitting in the car on the faceplate but um, I don't know maybe we'll get it figured out we'll see what we can do uh, we'll go from there but pretty much that's all I was going to do for this today. Um, I got this, what I wanted to get done so that this is nice and stable now. Next is working on trying to get this uh, light fixed because this piece in here was broken. So I want to get this back together. I got to get these uh, brackets out so that I could take this last piece out and then take this one out so that when it's back assembled in one piece, 
it can go back in the way it's supposed to. And then I can put this back in here and have a working have a working instrument panel light. So that is going that has also been on here trying to figure it out. But unless I can find a new one, I'll just go ahead and replace it. No big deal. So until then, remember, revive, restore, remake, and I'll see you later.